thought I'd do a little uh, review of the Nitto uh, Ridge Grappler tires I put on this truck. Um, practically when it was brand new, it had 500 miles on it. I have 5,000 miles on these tires already. Um, we, just, we just bought this truck in September and it's now mid-November and I've already put 5,000 miles on it. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the tires since I got them off. Everything looks brand new under the truck. This is the whole reason I bought a 2500, not a 3500, because I wanted the uh, four, well, four or five link suspension. But anyway, it's got coil suspension in it, not leaf springs. I'm not a fan of leaf springs. Um, I almost got air suspension in it. Uh, that was a tough decision, but <clears throat> I went with the coils uh, simply because I'm gonna put a Carly uh, kit on here, and uh, I think coils are a little bit more compatible than the air. So here's the tires after 5,000 miles. Um, I noticed with the torque of this diesel, so this is the 850 foot pound motor, not the 1,000 foot pound, um, but you know, with a big heavy diesel up front and lightweight in the back, and then I pull a 13,000 pound toy hauler trailer, um, the rear tires definitely showed some signs of, uh, of wear early on, uh, like things like this where you've got little pieces little chunks coming out here and here here um, and I've read and watched reviews on YouTube of others having this issue so if you're putting the foot to the floor and spinning and and I've done some a uh, little bit off-roading um, you're definitely gonna see these tires chunk a little bit it's not too bad uh, we'll see if it gets worse or just kind of stays at it as it is but Little chunks like that, I'm not too worried about. Um, for a soft, softer compound rubber, I'm kind of consider that normal. Um, one thing to notice, so these are the rear tires. If you look on these edges, you'll see on the front tires, there's still about a one millimeter step to them. So if you look over here, this is, they come from the factory with this step on it. Uh, I'd say that's about a millimeter. Um, that's completely gone on the rear tires, but you can still see it on the front tires. And again, this is after 5,000 miles on a big heavy-duty diesel truck. Um, and uh, I do not... Uh, I live in the mountains. This truck is constantly driving mountain passes. And we haul, my, like I said, my 13,000-pound trailer with it. Um, and considering the abuse these have taken in those conditions, I think they look pretty good. Um, you can see on the front, you can see that step all the way across, all the way to the other side, so they're wearing consistently. And on the rear, uh, that step is mostly gone. So you can tell, so see how you can see the step on the side here, and over here, and it's not in the middle. I should probably be running a lower tire pressure in the rear. This means that high tire pressure, all the weight is in the middle, and there's none on the sides, and so the edge of the tire is not wearing as a result because they're it's not really contacting the pavement really should only be running 45 50 psi in the rear end of these things when it's not loaded uh the only problem with that is the uh tire pressure monitoring system doesn't like that and usually puts the light on so uh and the dealer won't reprogram it which really sucks so anyways 5,000 miles they're dirty looking i need to clean these things and put some gloss on them. These are 295-70-18s, which is basically a 34 by 11, 34 by 1150. Actually says that right here, which is kind of cool that they do that. Um, and these fit great on the stock wheels and no clearance problems, and no rubbing on the uh, stock Ram 2500. We'll do this again at uh, 10,000 miles, see what it looks like. Okay, while I'm rotating these uh, Nitto Ridge Grapplers, I uh, thought I'd talk a little bit about their performance, what I like and don't like. Um, love them on the road. Uh, mountains are, are good. They're comfortable. Um, they, they, they're they really good on the road for a sort of hybrid mud all-terrain. I consider it more of an all-terrain, but they, they're quiet. They have a little bit of a hum. Um, but nothing that's annoying. Um, 
off-road. Uh, something I really like about them. I've done a lot of Moab uh, high speed, like washboard type uh, dirt roads in this. Nothing serious, just, you know, trying to get to places in Moab and not wanting to take all day to get there. But these stone ejectors, um, that's what those are. Uh, they're throughout the tire. And uh, the way this tread is designed, it very rarely picks up stones and throws them into the body. Um, I really like that about these tires. Uh, that's my biggest complaint on BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. Um, I love those tires, especially in the winter. They're amazing. But, man, do they pick up the stones and throw them into your body and, uh, you know, scratch and dent your body. Um, these tires, you'll, you'll pick one up every, every once in a while, but rarely. Uh, so that's one thing I love about these tires off-road. Um, I don't like them in the rain so far. Uh, this truck spins out really easy when it's wet. Uh, we live in Utah, so it's not wet that often here. Not that big of a deal. If I lived in a wetter climate, I probably would not own these tires. Um, I was pulling my 13,000 pound toy hauler. It was raining a little bit. I was at a stop sign uh, uphill. And when I pulled away from the stop sign, the rear end actually broke loose with uh, the tongue weight of about probably 12, 1300 pounds sitting on the rear end. And I think I even had a motorcycle in there too. So there was probably 1500 pounds sitting in the rear of this thing and it spun the tires in the rain. So uh, some people claim these are okay in the rain. So far in my experience, uh, they're not good, uh, which makes me nervous. So uh, it's kind of hard to see today, but right up there, that's Snow Basin Ski Resort. I live right next to it. Uh, it's mid-November and next week is going to be nonstop snow. Uh, we'll see how these do in the snow, but the rain performance has me worried about what these are going to do in the snow. Another observation about these tires, uh, both towing and not towing, um, I've had both BF Goodrich and uh, Goodyear Duratrax, which are two of the top snow tires, um, and uh, they're awesome in the winter, but one of the things both those have as a problem is the tr tread compound is so soft that you can really feel it in the corners, especially the dirt tracks. I had those on, oh, what truck was that? It was a Nissan Titan. Um, and in the corners, the rear of that truck would wiggle. Like you could feel the tread squirming on those things. Um, and because of that, I never ran them on a heavy duty truck. With these, um, they're really good. I, I don't feel that when it's unloaded. Um, and the only time I've noticed it on these is uh, in winds. Um, and maybe it's because these are 18 inch and my uh, Ford Excursion had 20 inch wheels. But uh, I think, I feel like the winds move me around a little bit more. Um, I've since started putting more pressure in these when I'm towing instead of. Uh, I think I ran 70 PSI the first time and now I'm running 75. Uh, the last trip um, didn't notice any moving around, but the winds also were not bad. So uh, I'll chalk that one up to wind for now. So overall, really like these tires, but I have yet to spend a winter with them. So the next re review, uh, I'll either do a winter review or wait till 10,000 miles and uh, We'll, we'll see. If I hate them in the winter, I'll uh, I'll do one earlier. Cheers. I had to fix the clean the dirty truck. So for any of you that was bothered by the dirty truck in my uh, tire review video, there you go, nice and pretty and clean at sunset. Money shot. All right, there's nobody on the road but me moment so let's do this a uh, little add-on to my uh, Nitto Ridge Grappler uh, 5,000 mile review we, we I just shot the other video rotating the tires yesterday and today it's snowing for the first time about time we're in Utah and we need the snow to open up these ski resorts um, initial impression this is the first time I've driven with the Ridge Grapplers in snow 
worst possible conditions because if you look down here it's 32 degrees uh, this is actually the slipperiest kind of snow when it's right at freezing and the snow has got a lot of moisture in it wet wetness to it super slick um, if it was 20 degrees you'd have way more traction the colder it is uh, the more traction you have in the snow so right at 32 is actually the worst possible slipperiest conditions for snow driving um, so being that it's that type of condition I would say from what I've sensed in just this short drive uh, I would rate these tires as average, maybe even below average uh, with snow because uh, they are a little slick. My rear end unloaded in this condition. Of course, this is a diesel truck. Got a boat anchor up front and not, no weight in the rear trying to push that boat anchor. So uh, two-wheel drive, running two-wheel drive in the winter in a diesel, this is actually the worst possible way to drive around in the snow. Uh, of course, I can put it in four-wheel drive, and that helps a lot. But uh, in two-wheel drive, my rear end is spinning like crazy on this stuff. My traction control is constantly on um, when I'm accelerating and gently accelerating. I'm not even trying to go fast. Uh, and then dropping my daughter off at school in their, their parking lot, just super slow speed and wet, slippery snow. Just trying to turn and park uh, the truck, the entire truck was actually sliding a little bit, not just the rear end, the front end too, with all that weight on it. So, okay, I'm slowing down for this turn. Let's see if I lock up. Uh, actually, not too bad. I didn't. Yeah, I actually had to push the, apply the brakes pretty hard to get it to slide a little bit. Oh, look at this. How about this about the new Sirius XM stuff? Look, it's telling me Guns N' Roses is on. I should change the channel. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit of juice and uh, we'll see probably the traction control kick in here. Eh, not too bad. Maybe I'm being a little harsh on these tires. Let me slow down. Do it again for more of a standstill. Okay, I'm definitely sliding. The, the, you can see on the bottom left, the traction control's kicking in. The truck, oh, the <laughs> truck moved a little, a lot that time. So that's what I'm talking about, a, a big heavy diesel up front, no weight in the back. Uh, that's, this is actually a terrible combination. I should be running four wheel drive. Uh, if I wasn't almost home, I would put it in four wheel drive on a road like this, but I'll just drive slow instead. These are definitely nowhere near as good as BF Goodrich all-terrain tires or Goodyear Duratrax in the winter. Uh, I would say these are Average at best uh, is my impression so far. So if you want the best snow tire, do not buy the Middle Ridge Grapplers. I'm I'm a little worried at this point. The winter's just beginning. I may have made a mistake buying these tires, but we'll see. Maybe uh, in a maybe they aren't as bad as I, I'm thinking at the moment. Later.